Hey guys, just wanted to show you how to uh, set up the controls for uh, MAME for your um, Logitech G29 wheel or whatever wheel you have. Um, it's pretty much the same way, I guess. So anyway, uh, you just start a game. Uh, here we have Outrun, uh, Turbo Outrun. So um, once it comes up, you just hit Tab on your keyboard. Um, go to Input This Machine. And you don't need the service mode. I just delete these out of here. It's only going to be one player. You clear that. Um, you clear them by uh, just hovering over or highlighting it and pressing delete. You don't hit enter or anything. You just hit delete and it clears it out. Um, so now I want to make my coin uh, a button on my wheel. <clears throat> so I'm going to press enter and press the button I want. And it's button 11 on my uh, on my Logitech wheel. And I'm going to do the same thing for uh, the start. Just hit delete to clear it out. And hit enter. And then press the button I want to be start. And there it is. It just automatically just takes a second or two. And, and then, um, what I found is for these, uh, I haven't really had to mess with them too much. Um, I mean, adding like the the uh, analog um, increase or decrease, so I just clear them out. Just hit delete. Um, sometimes you have to mess around with the brake. Uh, a lot of times it's brake minus, <clears throat> which is good. Uh, well, in this case, it's already in there. But if it wasn't, I'll show you. I'll just uh, you just press delete. And you press enter and then you hit your brake twice uh, I think I had to hit it three times um, till it comes to the minus um, and if the minus doesn't work then you can change it uh, to just joy one brake joy one brake plus <clears throat> or joy one brake minus so the way you do that is whenever you hit enter you press the pedal a couple times and it'll cycle through at the bottom like I'll show you again hit enter Let's break reverse whoops see it switched on me already so you just hit enter again that's just regular joy break hit enter press your break there I pressed it twice to get the negative and there we are so if it messes up no big deal you just hit enter and uh, try it again uh, some of these are kind of finicky to work with the wheels, I found. Um, so anyway, like I said, the uh, increase and decrease analogs I've just been deleting. Um, this one needs change. It's obviously not going to be the brake. It's going to be the um, accelerator. So I just delete um, to clear it out. Then I press enter, step on my pedal. Now, after you do that, some a lot of times on this, it'll like put it in constant motion for this you just you just got to press on your brake pedal a bit to find where it will stop it like halfway or something and then you can either use your controller or the brake or the I'm sorry the accelerator a little bit so you got to kind of hold it with your foot to wherever it stops moving and then you can use your arrow keys to go wherever you need to go so I'm gonna hit it again because I want it I want to try it in uh, joy one accelerator minus so I'm just going to press enter, hit it once, hit it twice, hit it three times. There we go. So now it's uh, now it's on the minus. That's what I wanted. <coughs> that's uh, left, right. That's good. It considers uh, my Logitech Joy 1. So that's Joy 1 left, Joy 1 right. That's how it's supposed to be. The access is Joy 1. It doesn't matter if the mouse is in there or not. You can leave it in and take it out. It doesn't matter. Um, if you wanted to set these or if they were something else, you just hit delete, then hit enter, <coughs> and then just turn your wheel to the left. It decreases the left, the increase is the right. Um, and then you can see it just put joy one left, just up one, delete to clear it out, press enter, and then turn it to the right. And now it's joy one, right? 
Uh, for the access, same thing. You can just hit delete, hit enter, turn your wheel to the left, and it, it just that's just to show it um, what access in general you're going to use. So anyway, um, that's it for the wheel, the pedals, um, the start, the coin, and uh, then you'll have like accessory buttons, which like turbo, and that's really up to you to put it wherever you want. Um, I have certain things I like to I like to keep constant on mine. So like say uh, the turbo, I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna hit enter, and I'm gonna press my X key on my Logitech. Uh, and that's going to be my turbo button. So for the gear shift, I'm going to come up there. I'm going to hit uh, delete to clear it out. Hit enter. And then I'm going to put it on my uh, paddles uh, right behind my steering wheel. I like to have my shifters there. So I like to set both of them whenever it only calls for one, sh uh, one shifter button. So I can just hit enter again. Press the other one. And now it says button four or five, which are my paddles on the left and right of my steering wheel, um, will now each work the same way as a shifter. <clears throat> if Sometimes it'll have like gear shift um, low and high, and you can you can set, then I usually set one for, uh, yeah. set one for low yeah. and set one for high, like the, the right would be high, the left would be low. So I think that's, uh, that's about it. You might encounter a few other things, uh, but it's, pretty self-explanatory it's just a like i said it's a little tricky um with the pedals to get them to go minus positive or just accelerator just brake um like i said a lot of times it works on negative um but sometimes you have to have a positive or just brake or just accelerator so it's uh it's really some of them you have to play around with but um I'm going through and I'm, I'm almost done with MAME. I only got like two more games uh, to set up, but everyone worked. I got everything to work. Um, some were more of a pain than others. Uh, some were very easy. Some took me a while to figure out. Like some of them I did have to mess with the uh, analog increase and decrease to get it to work. Um, certain combinations, it was, uh, was kind of tedious to do, but... Um, Anyway, I finally got them, but uh, that's the gist of it on how, how you do it. I, I would imagine it's going to be about the same one any wheel that you have. Uh, I could be wrong. Uh, I only have the Logitech G29 to, to check. But um, as I'm setting these up, I'm, I'm putting in, uh, I'm only using uh, the buttons that are available on, on the G20 and the G23 as well. So the extra buttons that are on the G29, I'm avoiding uh, using for now if I can. Um, so far on MAME, I haven't had to, uh, there would be no need to use them anyway. So that way I'm hoping it stays constant and it'll work right out of the box with the... Uh... Okay, so after we're done uh, setting our inputs uh, to try them out, you can just hit escape. You don't have to go down to return the machine. Just hit escape on your keyboard um, until you get to the screen. <clears throat> All right, so now the coin button works, Electric start button works, um, we'll do it with manual to check out the, uh, uh, check out the shifter to make sure it works as well. Welcome to the car. Good luck. Okay, so... I just let the car sit, I tap the brake, you can see the brake lights coming on. Some games don't have it, but uh, anyway, then press your accelerator. And you can, then you can try your shifters, the shifters working. Sometimes it'll have like the brake and the gas going at the same time, so you gotta watch out for that. It's like the car doesn't seem like it's going as fast as it should. Um, that's probably what the problem is. Um, shift works. Gas works, brake works, uh, and the steering, the steering is good, and there we go, that's it, I lucked out and got it the first time on this one, but um, like I said, some you have to play around with, so uh, good luck with it, and uh, I'll catch you guys later.